I'll be showcasing you the SAR analytics in ArcGIS Pro for flood mapping in Assam. The synthetic aperture radar is widely used for key geospatial investigation. It is used across wide range of applications like forestry, climate change, agriculture, disaster management and response, and many others. Let us visit the state of Assam. The state of Assam is severely affected by the floods every year. Although flooding has not been an old age phenomena in these riverine areas, but the significant increase in flooding has resulted in a huge property loss. Last year, Assam was hit by a devastating flood with Barpet district being the most affected area, causing huge scale damage to property, land, and human lives. Flood mapping using SAR data can be really valuable as it can capture the data during cloud and at any point of the time and lets the user analyze the area when the catastrophe had, has hit. ArcGIS new extension, SAR Analytics by L3 Harris provides users an easy to use workflows easy to use workflows related to change detection, dam extraction, displacement mapping, image geocoding, and many others. Let us see how we can utilize SAR flood mapping for creating a flood map. For creating a flood map, I have taken Sentinel-1 SLC data over Barpet district. I have taken one post-event image and one or multiple pre-event images to build a baseline and see the changes how the areas have affected. After that, we need to define an AOI so as to restrict our study to the affected area only. The module gives you various DEM options. Also, if you have your own high resolution DEM, you can incorporate it too. After that, we need to define the grid size, ratio threshold, and a pre-event image thresholds. These thresholds are defined so as to see the affected areas by the floods. Once you are done with defining the threshold parameters, the software also lets you check the classification filtering. So it will help you clear more your results and get the final results in a beautiful shape out of it. So in totality, what we are doing, we are utilizing a pre-event image, a post-event image, creating a ratio image out of it, and thus finally getting a beautiful flooded map out of it. So let's see how it looks. So if I focus on to my zoom area, which is bar pit, so the flooded map is in the blue. I'll open my pre-event image so as to give it a more weightage that yes, these are the flooded areas. So here you can see how easily the SAR analytics flood mapping tool has gotten our end results. To give these results a more weightage, we can utilize the ArcGIS Pro multi-dimensional tool capabilities. For this, I have used the IMD rainfall data. Thus, by creating a temporal profile over this data set, which is highlighted as flooded, you can see the maximum rainfalls are encountered in the month of June, thus validating and corresponding the results that we have got from SAR analytics. So, with latest remote sensing tool, and CAPSAR capabilities in ArcGIS Pro, various catastrophic events can be monitored and damage assessment can be done by the concerned disaster management authorities and save lives. Thank you.